guys, it's Casey from Casey is BYC and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a makeup tutorial and that is something I have not filmed in a good amount of time. Like seriously, it's been a really long time since I filmed a makeup tutorial. But I wanted to finally do one for you guys. Now this is a look that I've been doing a lot lately. Like this whole sandwich eye glitter kinds of look. And I thought I would finally do a tutorial on it because I do get a lot of comments on my Instagram about the look. So I was like, you know what, let's just do this. It's like... It's 10 a.m. and like I look like I'm about to go to the club, but you know what? I'm gonna leave this on for the rest of the day because I really, really like it. I really hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. By the way, I am so sorry if certain parts of this video is out of focus. Like I don't know, my camera is like on some other stuff, and I can't really tell like with the lights. Sometimes I think I'm in focus, and then I'll like watch the video again, and I'm not in focus, and it's like really frustrating. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're 100 away from 1,000, and I am doing a giveaway. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I am giving away something that has been sold out for a really long time, and a lot of people are asking for it. And here it is. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, yes, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. Um, I don't even have one myself, and I really wanted to keep it, but you know what? I am going to give it away to lucky subscribers. So once we reach 1,000 subscribers... This bad boy is going to someone's home so they can use it and love it and enjoy it. Here's Jaclyn Hill in the back. Isn't she beautiful? She is. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Remember to subscribe and then we can get this started. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. So we're going to start with our eyebrows already done and the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyelids. I'm using Max Paint Pot and Laying Low. This is my favorite primer but go ahead and use your primer of choice. Next, we're going to take Dusty Rose. This is a color in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and the an E40 and just blend that out using that as our transition color. Next we're going to take this color called Auberine if I'm not mistaken. It's this deep purple eyeshadow in the same palette that we used for the transition color. And I forgot the name of this brush but I will link it down below. And we're just going to place that in our crease giving some more definition to it. Now to blend out those harsh lines, we're taking a little bit of Dusty Rose and our E40 again and just blending that out. Now I did not get a clip of the eyeshadow, but next we're going to take Buttery from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and using that as our brow bone highlight. Time for the sandwich part. Next we're going to take coal and a small pencil brush and we're just going to create V's on the outer corner and in the inner corner of our eyelids. Next we're going to take our E25, this is a Sigma brush, and we're just pretty much going to blend those two sides together, leaving the center blank. Next we're going to take this color right here. This is a MAC eyeshadow. I'm going to find out the name of it and link it down below. But we're just going to place that in the center of our sandwich pretty much. And I'm only using this for a base because we are going to put glitter on top.
Now I'm just reinforcing that black because it did blend away a little bit so I'm just applying a little bit more of that coal on the outer corner. Time to blend. Now I'm applying the e.l.f. glitter glue and I'm just putting that on the center of our eyelid where the glitter is going. You can use that glitter glue, you can use eyelash glue, or you can use the Too Faced Glitter Insurance, whatever you prefer. Now I'm taking this hard candy glitter and I'm placing that on the center of the eyelid. I'm also going to link below the exact name of the glitter. Unfortunately, when I was filming this video, the glitter part was out of focus so I didn't show you guys it. But use any glitter you pretty much want to I think like a silver would be beautiful a gold even like a really bright purple or a pretty much any glitter of your choice would look beautiful with this look next apply your favorite mascara Now I'm applying my lashes, I'm using my favorite lashes of all time, Coco Lashes in the style Misha. Okay, so I went ahead and did my whole face, pretty much my foundation, highlight, and contour. And now we're going back to the eyes. I'm applying a black eyeliner in my waterline. Now I'm taking that color Cold from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and I'm placing that in the lash line and we're going to bring it pretty low because we want this to be nice and smoky. Now I am taking another pencil brush with that Auburn, I believe the color is called and I'm blending that with the Cold. Now I am taking another blending brush with absolutely no product on it and I am blending that out so there are no harsh lines. Next I am taking this eyeshadow right here. This is also from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to link the name down below. I am so sorry. I cannot remember names if they saved my life. But I'm going to pop that in the inner tear duct just to open up the eye a bit. And then you're going to go ahead and apply your favorite mascara on your bottom lashes. Now I am applying a blush. This is number 107 from Kiko Cosmetics. And I'm applying it with a stippling brush. I am popping on my highlight. You guys know I am a highlight junkie. Like, I need you to see me from space. This is NARS Albatross, one of my favorite highlighters. It looks white in the pan, but it actually applies golden on the skin. It's absolutely beautiful, especially for my women of color. Now I am lining my lips with MAC Cosmetics Cherry. This is one of my favorite lip liners. It is a true red lip liner. And I'm filling my entire lips with this because we are using a liquid lipstick and I want this to be really long lasting. Next I am going to apply Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick and Bloodline. This is a red orange. It is absolutely beautiful and stunning. Now I know the eyes are pretty bold so if you want to go with a nude lip go ahead and do so and that's going to conclude this look i really hope that you guys enjoy it um please give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you try it don't forget to hashtag kc is vyc so i can see it i'll see you guys in the next video love you bye